Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. Be careful, Goku. Hey, welcome back! I'm pretty sure they said he could turn into a Super Saiyan as well. Boy, am I glad to see you, Goku. I'd love to catch up, but you better see what this guy has to say. Man, you're a sight for sore eyes, Goku. As much as I'd love to chat, I think the newcomer takes priority. Glad to have you back, Goku. Welcome back, Dad. Glad you're here. You'll have to tell me about your travels later. Just who is that guy? <laughs> Now's not the time for idle chatter, Kakarot. Where have you been this whole time? You better fill me in later, Buster. You got it? I suggest you talk to that guy, but stay on guard. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first, but I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm gonna be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, 
On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No, they're androids created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. You're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome! Thanks! Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. Whoa! B Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. T to think she'd end up with Vegeta, of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. P uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive! What a great new goal! 
Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years. Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to...
to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. This can't be good! So, Yamcha, you wanna train with us? Huh? Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. I hate to admit it, but I don't think I can keep up with you guys anymore. Hey, I know! Why don't we just off that Dr. Jiro now so he doesn't even make the androids? Uh, sorry, Bulma. But to be completely honest right now, I really wouldn't mind fighting them. Besides, he hasn't even created them yet, so it's not like we can really beat him up. He hasn't done anything. Ugh, you're unbelievable. I won't go easy on you. Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that. <laughs> well, the way I look at it, I wouldn't be back if it weren't for you, buddy. I'm looking forward to it. I'm eager to join the fight and put my training to the test against these androids. I'm going to do my best to help Tian with his training. <laughs>